Hello everyone and welcome to Zach's Garage. Today we are here with Symphonetic and my favourite car in the collection, the Focus RS. The most all-round, usable, most versatile hot hatch anyone could ever have. And I know people are already getting the comments saying, oh, what about the Golf R? Shut up, we're not talking about that. So, they've got cars such as the GT3, they've also got an M3, which is believed to be the loudest car in England. We'll be finding out about that soon. But we are having a custom exhaust fitted on the Focus RS. It's going to be a valved on a switch cat back system that is going to be built here today. This is just going to be nuts. Let's head in and meet Max. So, this is Max, the owner of Symphonetic. How are you doing? You I'm good? good, how are you? All good, all good. So, thank you so much for inviting us down here to have some work done to the Focus. No worries. I mean, would you be able to show us uh, all about what you do and what yeah, we're doing sure. today? Come inside. So, um, we've got all your parts here, which we'll be using to make your system. Everything is basically handcrafted and fabricated in-house. Um, had your logo laser etched on the tips. How yeah. cool is that? That is so, mega. It's a bit unique. Um, and yeah, they're big tips, five inch, so they definitely suit the rear diffuser. <laughs> Fill out those holes. Yeah, that was the one problem I found with the Focus RS, the original yeah. OEM exhaust. There's just a big gap around it, so I know, that's I know. gonna fix it. So we've got the solution right there. Happy days. Um, you mentioned you're gonna be doing track days. Yep. So uh, obviously, let's give you noise on a button really so when you go to your car meets <laughs> you can have your, your asbo mode the asbo mode good on, on, on the fob so you know open the valve and uh, basically it just bypasses the box and it's straight through and then when you go on track and you want to lower the db turn it off shut the valve and then we'll be going through this sports box and i think this is mega cool because obviously like you have, like, I was kind of expecting, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting to see a fully built exhaust already here, but the fact yeah. that you are here showing me all the bits that's going to be on yeah. this car right here in, in a, frankly, a short space of time. I mean, yeah. we won't talk about time scales because obviously it varies depending on what car it is, but yeah, exactly. mega. So we've got the cats. So these are actually for a Galado. <laughs> oh, right, okay. These, I was these, gonna yeah. say, these look exciting. <laughs> this is a different project. <laughs> but yeah, this kind of stuff here, the bends, and obviously we've got all the tubing on the shelf. Yeah, there's a um, lot of tubing there. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of stuff that can make a lot of noise. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so basically the tips, bends, boxes, valve, and then all the other bits that go to it. And then we've got all the machinery in the house from a CNC plasma cutter to a lathe if we need to turn something down um, to, yeah, obviously all the welders to take everything up. Awesome, and can you make, uh, the one thing that I found interesting about car modification companies, especially when it comes to exhaust, if someone turns up with their car, can you make it sound roughly how they want it to sound, or is it usually is it, just a yeah. generic sound? So it's a bit of both. Um, we try to offer something that you can't get off the shelf, obviously, in terms of specifications and uh, loudness and tone. Most of the engine note is obviously to do with the engine. There's a lot of mechanics depending on the piston ratios, bore strokes, the amount of cylinders, the setup, the cams, the head. So that all plays a part to the frequency and tone that you get with a car. But obviously the exhaust is basically like the instrument. So you've got the engine is the player and then the exhaust is like the instrument. So it's a combination of both depending on that's going to predetermine what engine note we can do. But going back to your question, yes, if, if someone has a specific requirement, like for a track application, then we can try get it bang on with like DB levels. Oh, awesome. Getting rid of drone, kind of a frequency So basically you guys are musicians. That's what you've effectively well, just said. So, <laughs> so basically that's where their name derived from, Symphonetic, the symphony. So it's kind of, yeah, just a collaboration of both. Awesome. Yeah. Right, well, let, let's, I guess, let's get into it, I guess. Cool, let's go. So it is time to get rid of these silly, tiny little exhaust tips. You can see the massive gap. It's always kind of bugged me, but we're gonna get it up in the air and we're gonna get these off. So we've got the Focus RS in the air now with the factory system. You can see the original valve, we're gonna get rid of that. The original tips, these are dirty and they're just impossible to keep nice and they're also far too small. So we're gonna be changing that. The back box, this is gonna be changed. You can see it's a Ford OEM part. And then we're going to cut it around about here. So if ever we wanted to change it back, we can, but I've got no reason to. Because of the fact that it's on a valve system, it means that when I want a bit of fun, it can be. And when I want it quiet, it is. 
It is the point of no return when someone gets one of these out. And now the car is up in the air with no back box or tips, I can position these lovely bad boys. And I'm thinking we want to get it almost in line with the diffusers. Not so it's poking out too much, but enough so that if you look, you'll see the ZG, which is kind of cool. I mean, you could have gone with the OEM all the way back here, but I don't think that's right. I think just, just about there is cool. Let's get to it. We are now marking up where the new back box is going to go. You can see it is significantly smaller, but with the valve closed, it's going to be nice and quiet. Unlike that one, which is massive, it's heavy, but it does keep it quiet. But we're, we're, we're trying to be a bit adventurous with it. tinkering with some of the exhaust bits, Max and I are taking out his 991.1 GT3 3.8 with their custom exhaust. Now I've been told this is crazy, but their M3 is even crazier. So we're going to take the GT3 first, and then we're going to change to the M3 to see what that's all about. So let's head to it. As you guys can now hear, the car is going up for the final time, not to work on, but for you guys to see. I've got a remote to a valve, the exhaust is all done, check out this gorgeous metalwork. So it is now time to hear the car for the first time. Now I can't get me on camera and the car on camera, so what we're gonna do 
is we're just going to show you guys first. Um, I genuinely haven't heard it, so you'll probably hear me in the background going, oh my god, oh my god, that sounds so cool. Um, hopefully, as long as the car starts. <laughs> That's his fault after all. But anyway, let's head to it. and I don't know what reactions you caught from me, but it sounds unbelievable. And I'm not just saying this for a video, genuinely, this is awesome because with the valve closed, it's actually properly quiet. It's exactly like it is from factory, but with it open, it has sort of a bark to it, but not droney. So it sounds, you get turbo spool, the pops and bangs, well, to put it in another perspective, it scared the shit out of him. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's absolutely wicked, guys. Uh, we're now going to take the car on a little drive and see what it's about. I can't wait. This is exciting. So, we are in the car with the valve and, well, the pops and bangs sound awesome. Dude, thank you. No worries, buddy. This is, this is so cool. So, is this the first RS Focus you've done? Yes. It is? Yeah. And how are you, what are your thoughts with how it's come out? I'm actually really pleased and I'm glad you're happy. Yeah? Um. <laughs> this hasn't got a pops and bangs man, guys, as well. Remember that. This is OEM, so... It barks. It does. It really does. Oh, it's so cool. I think we should open the rear windows. Just have a little listen. The problem is, now I really like the noise of this. I'm going to be like, I wonder what else you could put exhausts on. And it's all going to spiral. And my neighbours who already don't like me having like 70 odd cars going, can you stop making noise? And they're going, let's put loud exhausts on them. It's not a good idea. Well, if they've got valves, then... Uh... If they've got valves, it'll be all right. Jeez. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds so good. Proper sharp. Dude, that is wicked. Because it's not droney, no. even with the valve open, it's not. It's manageable. It's, it's like manageable. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. God, my neighbours are going to hate me. I don't think I'll ever close the valve. Sleep the one thing I genuinely thought when, when you guys were doing this is it's going to be droney on open, mm. but nice and quiet on close. Mm. It's not droney on either. It's perfect. Yeah, so we retain the factory cat, and that's obviously silencing some yeah. of the noise. But it's that nice level now. Clinicalness meets a bit as bow. Yeah. Oh, man, this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you again, dude. Genuinely, this is... My pleasure. You've done a hell of a job on this. Now is a good time to tell the audience that we're actually, there will be a part two of this episode where we're modifying the Eventable. Um, yeah. We've got stuff, no, genuinely, yeah. I've got something coming for the Eventable. It's not as exciting as an exhaust, yeah. but nevertheless, it's uh, yeah. it's gonna be pretty exciting and some more stuff happening to this, so make sure to stay tuned. But thank you so much for doing all this, dude. No worries. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys very soon. Make sure to check out Symphonetic. Make sure to check out their website, their Instagram, everything is going to be down below, you name it. And yeah, we're going to do some more stuff for these guys because this car sounds epic. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Ciao!